Hey guys and girls, Shady Matt UK here with something very different. This was given to me yesterday, if you can see it in the light. Uh, really cool story behind this. This was made by a French soldier in a Vietnamese prisoner of war camp. And it was uh, given to me by a girl I met yesterday who basically wanted to get rid of it because she it gave her, her and her boyfriend like weird vibes having it in the house. And uh, she asked her friends, oh, you know, is, do you know anyone who would want this? And it's got to that point where I've been here long enough, people know my name and they know I like knives and shiny things. And not so shiny things in this case. And uh, they said, hey, yeah, Matt will take that. So I met her yesterday and here it is. And I just love the, the story behind this, you know. I mean, what was this used for? What was it built for? You know, it's made of an old pot handle and what looks like an old slip joint slip joint blade very similar to the kind of things you see on a case knife sorry about the light it's a beautiful day outside the light inside is crap but this tree isn't doing me any favors at all um, but yeah I just wanted to share it with you it's pretty cool I mean there's lots of uh, lots of up and down blade play <laughs> lots of side to side <laughs> but uh yeah, I just love that old patina. I mean, what has this been through? The tip is smashed to hell. I mean, is that just from storage or was this used for something? I mean, I'm assuming if you're a prisoner of war in a POW camp in Vietnam, you're not building this to kind of make it easier to make sandwiches. You're probably building this so you can fight your way out or you can, you know, get one back, nail one of the guards, whatever, but. I just think this is cool as hell. Let's see if I can get it in a better, better bit of light for you. There's actually like a marking on the blade. Just there you can kind of make out some kind of lettering. You can almost see two O's, maybe the tops of a B or something. I'm not sure if you can pick that out. Hard to focus. But I mean, if you recognise this blade shape, you know, if you if you can think maybe, oh, I'm a a fan of knives of that era, and I can see what that used to be, then yeah, let me know. I'd love to know. But yeah, I love this. The patina on this is crazy. Who knows what's on there? Is that just dirt? A mixture of rust? Is there blood on there? Who knows? But yeah, really cool. And yeah, I just love the story behind it. I just wish I had better lighting. <laughs> there you go, maybe if I pop it in the shade, you won't get so much clear. Just goes to show what you can do in a shitty situation with limited supplies, limited uh, materials, old pot handle, old knife blade, a bit of. Uh, Bit of fiddling around, a bit of hammering, a bit of nailing here and there. And we've got a rather savage little shank. Awesome. Anyway, thanks for taking the time to have a peek. And enjoy the rest of your day. Take care.